Hello and welcome to the allotment plot this morning. It's sunny, which is good, but it's quite cold. I've got my jacket on still. Deceiving weather at the moment, isn't it? The sun's out, but it's quite nippy. So I've got my coat on, like I say. Might warm up in a minute if the sun decides to stay out, but it's going in and out, in and out, and it has been raining this morning too. We're, we're coming into that autumnal weather now, definitely. So I'm just gonna have a quick look around and see how the plot's been doing. I haven't been down here. It's Wednesday today, and I haven't been down here since the end of last week, since I pruned the tomatoes. So that just gives you a picture of sometimes I don't get to come down here for nearly a week. Um, so I'm gonna go and check on the tomatoes first of all. So last week I gave them a really good prune. So there's hardly any foliage left. They're nearly ripe. I've definitely got some San Marzano's down there that are ripe. Um, a lot of these are now ripe on the vine. And as I go round, probably a good percentage of them I can definitely harvest today. Lots over here. So it was really worth doing that last week. It's looking quite empty in here now, isn't it? But I've got lots to replace these with when they come out. I've got some purple sprouting broccoli. I did my garlic in here last year, so I'm definitely going to be putting my garlic in there over winter. So this will be full again before you know it. At the moment, it looks pretty sad, doesn't it, with the, with the vines looking like that. So I'm round by my old compost area, which I've now put raspberries in. And as you can see, the raspberries are really starting to take over this area a bit. I think what I need to do is put something put something else across here to sort of keep them contained a bit because as you can see they're coming right out towards my polytunnel. So everything's looking okay inside the polytunnel. I'm just outside now and my beans are starting to look like I might need to harvest everything on there. Okay, so the first job I wanted to do today was I wanted to dig up my strawberries that are in my asparagus bed and they're going to be going in my new beds in my garden. I've already got a bed towards where my rhubarb is, near my fruit cage, and that's full of strawberries as well. So I thought I'm going to take them out of here, out of the asparagus bed, because they've gone a bit wild in here, to be honest. I really want to keep this just for asparagus from now on. The asparagus is going into the year when I'm going to be able to harvest it next year as well. So really, I want to take the strawberries out. So they're all going to go to the beds at home. I'll still have a strawberry bed up here, but it just means this bed will be a bit clearer. I've also got some strawberries you can see right down here in my mini polytunnel that I planted at the front. I'm going to take them out as well and take them home as well with me. I think there were six plants, but they've all started to send out their runners. So there's quite a lot there now. They're going to be coming home with me as well. I started digging the strawberries up and there is so many runners which is absolutely fantastic but what I've done I've kept them all together and I've just dug them all up together and then I'll sort them out when I get back and I replant them I think so I've got a pile here of strawberry plants there's probably about 10 here with all the runners they came from here but as you can see this was I think this might have been three plants I planted and what's happened is they've sent off so many runners they're actually outside of the polytunnel as well as you can see <laughs> but what i might actually do which i think might be quite nice is leave the ones around the edge just so that then they have a chance of growing i mean i think it would be quite nice to have little strawberry plants outside the edge of the mini polytunnel and then um, just dig up the ones on the inside so I've left these ones here that were on the outside and I'm going to leave these ones here as well I think that's quite nice actually so as you can see there's blue sky behind me but this way up here it is grey sky and it's about to rain so I've made a bit of a dash for the car and I'm going to go home and I'm going to plant all of these strawberries in my new beds at home okay I made it home and it hasn't rained yet um, as you can see, I'll just try, there's, the, there's a tiny bit of blue sky, but it is pretty grey out. So I'm going to try and get this done before it rains. And it'd be good if I could, because then I won't need to water anything in. The rain will do it for me. So I have got a whole tub of these. I actually took this one out of the pot that I had in the polytunnel. I think it'll be okay. It's had a bit of a drought by the look of it. So I am going to plant that and I'll probably just give it a bit of a trim and I'm sure that'll be okay. But otherwise there's just a whole box of all of the strawberry plants and runners that I dug up. So I think I'm gonna put it in this bed at 
the front. And I think, to be honest, that those strawberry plants will probably fill that bed. So I'll probably start in the middle and then just keep planting and see how far I get. So I just started splitting the strawberry plants and I realised how many there actually were so I needed to see how many there were to see how many I could fit in this bed so I've got a big pile of the runners here there's still a lot in here and then I've got the original plants here so what I'm going to do is try and put all of the new plants in one bed and then I might put the old plants just at the front and back of that bed there and then I know how old the plants are so I'll know that the ones in the front bed are the runners they're the newer plants and then the ones in here because there's only five of the old plants so they're, they'll quite happily just sit you know like in the corners of that bed maybe that's what I'm thinking I think that's what I'm going to do. So I've now got 27 strawberry plants in that bed and it's looking absolutely fantastic. What I'm going to do with the runners that are left from that batch, I'm just going to pop them up actually um, into cell trays and I'll probably just keep them in the greenhouse and I might use them at the allotment next year. These ones here, so the original plants, I'm going to, like I say, just put at the ends of these beds. So I've now got a small cell tray of strawberry runners in my greenhouse. I've got a whole bed of strawberry runners at the front here in my garden. I've got the original plants planted at the front and at the back of this bed. And then what I've done is I've actually potted up the other ones. So I've just put them here because it's gonna rain and I wanted them to get water, but there's enough there for another bed. So I think I might take them back down the allotment now that I've sort of split them into runners and things and have another strawberry bed at the allotment. So I'll have two strawberry beds at the allotment, a strawberry bed here and a few plants dotted around. But I'm really pleased with that actually. A morning well spent. Thank you so much for watching today and I'll see you again soon. <laughs>